My name's Abdul Muller and I work for a charity called Black Mummy Darwin Healthy Living. I'd, I'd say what we're about is getting people to make healthier choices and sometimes people need to know how to make choices and they just know what choices to make. We've got a lot of challenges in this borough. We have uh, amongst the worst life expectancy in the country. Blackburn with Darwin Healthy Living have really made a difference to this. A citizen's jury is a model you use to consult local people. What you do in a citizen's jury is each week you invite what we call a commentator or an expert and they come and talk about that particular issue and at the end of that process those residents then come up with a set of recommendations saying we could tackle this problem better if we tried it this way or maybe did something slightly differently. It is what it says on the tin, it's a citizen's jury and you're yeah, taking it and pulling it apart and putting it back together so it works. It's very in their face, it's very engaging but it's not obtrusive and off-putting in a way that the kind of officialdom and bureaucracy of the public sector can be. As a charity we've always run community gyms uh, in, in disadvantaged communities but we felt that uh, having a static gym there's a lot of cost attached to that. So we came up with the idea of a mobile gym. Now that we've, we've got one, um, it kind of really helps us because it can go to the communities where there's no facilities, no resources. It can go work in rural communities. The citizens group that we did, one of their key recommendations was to set up a food co-op as they felt that in their community there was nowhere they could get fresh fruit and vegetables at, at, a, at a reasonable price. We've got young mums coming here and getting the fruit and veg and making meals instead of going to the chippy, so which is good because it has a knock-on effect on young kids. We even get dads coming in, buying bananas for the kids on the way to school. It is important to go to a particular place and go and sell affordable prices because people are finding, especially if we're targeting the elderly and the sheltered accommodations. You know, when you, you can't walk far, you can't, you have to wait for somebody coming to take you to a shop to buy your vegetables, you know. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. Projects like the food court work because people are passionate about doing something for their local community and it's the volunteers who drive it forward really. We just support the volunteers in making sure it continues. It's been a real innovation to help people to do that off their own back. And thank you. We were approached by the local health trust to see if we could help them carry out a project called the Woman to Woman project, which was all about um, targeting women from Asian heritage background and trying to encourage them to go for their cervical and breast screening. I go out into the local community and raise awareness for signs and symptoms of cancer. We say go and see the doctor and that's where you know and these are the signs and symptoms that you should be watching out for. We also carried out many focus groups and community meetings to dispel the myths around what happens when you go for a screening but also trying to educate people about why it's important to, to go for a screening and, and um, how we can have a positive impact on your life and, and potentially save your life. Blackburn and Darwin have won this award and I think it's fantastic. They're the best people to have won it. It's mobilising the assets implicit in communities and enabling them to work with the public sector to solve some of our key problems. You have to stand out and you have to show your funders that you can, you can deliver. It's a more cost effective way for us to reach hard to reach communities in difficult parts of the borough and it's had a real impact with the communities that it serves and I think in that sense it's been, we could only describe it as excellent value.